Hello my amazing creative friends, Oksansa here again. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to set up and change color modes in Adobe Illustrator CC for repeat pattern design. This is going to be a quick video uh, designed to help you understand color modes a little bit better if you are a vector repeat pattern designer and I'm going to be using Illustrator's, uh, Adobe Illustrator CC 2015 version as I always use and uh, we are going to be talking about CMYK and RGB mo color modes. All right, so first things first. Why would you use CMYK and RGB color modes? CMYK color mode uh, is uh, good for printing. This is just a th general rule of thumb. Uh, it is good for printing. So think about your uh, repeat pattern designs. Uh, what are they going? How are they going to be used? So uh, repeat pattern designs, for example, one of the uses of your design that you're creating is going to be uh, for uh, to print on fabric, let's say, or can be a print on, uh, let's say, a mouse pad. So uh, is this for printing purposes? For printing purposes, it is best to use a CMYK color mode. And the color mode is basically a, a mode of the colors that you see in Adobe Illustrator. So this particular uh, text right here and all the graphics uh, have a color mode uh, connected to them and it is this color mode is going to be saved and uh, communicated via the Adobe Illustrator file or a later EPS or even JPEG file that you will save from your artwork to the printer or um, computer that is going to show your artwork or maybe even a mobile phone. So it is all important how uh, to know how to save your uh, color modes, uh, your files with the color mode, uh, which is correct for your uh, application of your designs. All right, so for printing purposes, we use CMYK. And for web purposes, meaning that your file is going to um, be represented on screen, which is basically it will. So I, I'm going to be speaking specifically for repeat pattern design here. And repeat pattern designs, you have two things that you're going to do with them. You will license them or print them to yourself on the products or physical products, or they will be used for um, let, let's say for web portfolio, which all, again for both in both of these cases you want the colors to be represented correctly. So uh, for this case you will need RGB color mode to have your files or artwork represented correctly uh, on screen. Now, first of all, what I'm going to tell you is that I am I am using CMYK to design uh, all of my patterns in. Uh, I know other artists might use uh, RGB, so you can actually use both, and you it will be okay. But I personally, uh, with experience, realized that CMYK uh, prepares my uh, repeat pattern design artwork uh, the best for future uses. So that is definitely you. I definitely use RGB to present for web. What we are going to do is we are going to uh, first. I will show you how to create a new file with the color mode that you want. Okay, so you go to File, New, New Document window pops up, and this is the setup that I normally use for my uh, files. And what's important here is that you can see here already the color mode CMYK. We are going to click on advanced and here you can change color mode to RGB. And when you do that, it basically will tell you that the colors will shift. So the, the attention sign means that the colors may shift in your artwork. And the color shift means that the colors will not be exactly the same after you change the color mode. Or they might not be exactly the same. All right, so we'll keep this as CMYK. Oh, yeah, yeah, I created a new file. So this is going to what's going to happen. Uh, next, uh, let's say you already have an artwork, your own, or you have an artwork from somebody else that you licensed. Uh, let, this is one of my patterns right here, vector pattern you can see here. And what I'm going to show you how you can uh, change the color mode and where to look it up. So you need to go to file again document color mode so here you can see that this is a cmyk color you can pick an rgb color right here so uh, in this 
case I don't see a major color shift but sometimes with some colors it really happens so again uh, in uh, you can change document color mode after you already have your file created um, what we're going to uh, ex explain next is that uh, you can uh, save JPEGs or PNG files from your vector artwork and you in most cases will have to do that at least to represent your files in your uh, portfolio and if you are selling your repeat patterns uh, on print-on-demand websites or on microstock websites which I talk a lot about in my channel you will be able to you, you will be able to save your JPEGs for that purpose all right so how do you do that there are two major ways how to do that you go to file and save for web and this is the purpose uh, that you will be able to save your artwork for uh, to, sh to show in your portfolio online so it will be uh, represented like this on the web you can change the size right here and you cannot change the color mode here it is, will be always in RGB mode so it's uh, color save for web uh, let's do cancel here and another way is going to be we are going to go to file export and right here you can definitely pick you need to pick JPEG right here format and then export and here it will give you the options so here you can pick the CMYK or RGB right there so uh, basically you can also change resolution here so this will give you another way to save uh, normally I uh, create my files in CMYK and I save my files for uh, presentation in my portfolio in sRGB format mm, uh, I hope you guys uh, found this explanation of color mode in Adobe Illustrator in that in relation to repeat pattern design helpful and I, if you want to know more about how to grow your repeat pattern portfolio especially vector repeat pattern portfolio I have a helpful workbook with 15 ideas and 15 ways to grow your repeat pattern portfolio faster so if you want to check that out please uh, click the link in the info card or in the description below under this video so thank you so much you guys for watching this video and I hope this clears up a little bit about the usage of color modes in Adobe Illustrator and repeat pattern design uh, please like this video if you like it this helps me to know that you want more videos just like this one uh, leave a comment below if you have a question and uh, please subscribe uh, so that you will get notified if I do a live stream and when I upload uh, new videos. Thank you guys for watching once again. Grow, love and create. Bye!